All right, welcome back to FAFO Friday. This week, we are going to answer a question that I keep getting asked since I've been doing these 10 millimeter videos. Why I can't just stick my 40 in the 10 mil or my 10 mil in a 40 Smith & Wesson. This is why, and we'll explain more. All right, so I keep getting asked why I can't swap bullets because that's what most other companies do. And even though the outside profile of the bullets are exactly the same, when you get to the inside hollow point here, you can see this is the 40 Smith & Wesson bullet. The hollow point itself is much larger than the 10 mil, and that's to do with the extra speed that you get out of a 10 millimeter. The little flats are also much smaller due to the fact that the hollow point has to be so much bigger for the pedals to be weaker at the 40 Smith & Wesson speeds. And I'm going to demonstrate here in a minute what would happen if we loaded them the other way, at least with the 40 and the 10 mil. And I predict when we shoot a water jug, the pedals are going to rip off of this. Let's get into it. All right, so we got one of the 40 Smith & Wesson interceptors loaded into the 10 mil case with the same powder charge. The 10 mil interceptors are 135 grains. These are 115 grains. So let's hit the water and see if the pedals blow off. And I took a bath. Let's go check it out. All right, so here we are at the aftermath. It went through and completely blew this one apart. And you can already see on the exit that there was pieces. No pieces caught. The second one, we got a split down here from something. We got an entrance from here with a secondary entrance to the side. And that's going to have to be pieces. And I see a pedal. We'll open them in a second. There's the third one with an entrance and maybe a one pedal of an exit. Let's open up the jugs and see what we find. So like I predicted, here is one pedal in the first jug because it was just going so fast that the copper can't handle moving that quickly. So it sheared instead of bent. Let's open up the second one. I hear a bunch of stuff coming out of it. And there is the rest of it. We got the base, four more pedals. The first one was the fifth pedal. And that is why we can't just shove the 10 millimeter into the 40, because in that situation, the 40 will not push the 10 millimeter hard enough to expand. And we can't put the 40 in the 10 mil because the hollow point was not designed to handle that kind of speed and pressure. And I refuse to load a 10 mil that is nothing but a spicy 40 Smith & Wesson. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and always shoot cool shit.